Hey again, it's Dr. Molsky, Dr. Wright. We're going to talk to you a little bit more about the foam roll, but the foam roll we're going to use for the uh, legs and lower, what we call lower extremities. So uh, with this is that uh, this is such a great tool to use, especially if uh, somebody has knee problems or they have uh, uh, calves that get tight or hamstrings that are tight or they get tightness in their glute muscles here, maybe sciatica type of things that go on. These things are just wonderful for that. Definitely make sure that, uh, that you come into the office and we talk about these things before you go and do them. We have a full sheet of exercises that, that we're going to show you here uh, that we're going to give you to take home with you. Uh, but uh, we got to make sure that you can do these things uh, here in the office. So uh, definitely come in to, to get a look at that. All right. So um, Dr. Wright's going to go through some of these things. One of the big things about this is that uh, this is kind of like a home deep tissue massage. It really gets into uh, the muscle tissue, and I'm going to be frank with you, is sometimes it hurts, all right? But you're not causing harm, you're doing good, all right? So uh, these things, uh, you know, you're going to find some trigger points in there, and you're going to start working them. You might only be on that area for five seconds, and that's okay. You want to work on it, work on it, work on it, and you'll see it, over time you'll be getting up to 30 seconds, maybe even a minute on it. So Dr. Wright's going to go through these guys, all right? So we're going to start with doing the glute and piriformis muscles here. So Dr. Wright is going to uh, sit on the roll there. All right, with the glute muscles, you can roll back and forth pretty much from the top of the pelvis, which would be right about in this region right back and forth down to the bones that feel like the butt bones pretty much, down at the bottom of the, uh, of the pelvic region. So rolling back and forth straight forward is gonna be the glutes. And if I was gonna hit the right side more, I would work more leaning towards that right side. So you can kind of span the muscle, uh, you really find the trigger point that you're aiming for that we've kind of told you to work on by rolling back and forth. And when you get right over that tender spot, that's where you're at. It's uh, the area that you want to work on. Great. We want to be a little more specific with that. We can also have him cross his leg over the other leg. So this would be the piriformis more so. Yeah. Another muscle that's more towards the outside. And you can put a hand down to help support your upper body, but you just want to roll back and forth pretty much at about a 45 degree tilt to hit the piriformis more so. Just gonna awesome. go back and forth like that and the leg up helps really stretch it. So I'm hitting the right side on this one, stretching that muscle out and working right over top of the foam roll on that one. Great, next exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to the hamstring there. We'll do the hamstring. Hamstrings next. And you could do this, this would be my right hamstring, one at a time, right between the bottom of the pelvis and the uh, knee. We're just gonna roll back and forth once again to hit the outside a little bit more, rotate the toe out, hit the inside a little bit more, rotate the toe in. If you want a little more pressure on the hamstring, you can take the leg and cross it over like that. It gets a little more pressure onto it. Uh, it can get a little deeper in there. Next, uh, we're gonna roll all the way down into the calf muscle there. Same type of thing. You can start out nice and easy, have a leg back for support. Uh, you'll notice as you do this, the less pressure on the area, the more bearable. Uh, as you work that out over probably a few treatments, you can start to add a little bit more weight with the other leg, going from pretty much the knee down to the ankle, uh, working that band of fibers that we show you uh, that needs worked out and take it from there. Next uh, group of muscles is we're going to do the outside of the calf called your peroneus muscles. Once again, you can use this leg here for support. Same type of deal, just pretty much body turned to the side, hitting from the knee right down to above the ankle. Great, and then he can also put his leg up on there to add some more pressure uh, to uh, really get into that too. And then the next one, we're going to move up on the outside of the thigh to what's called your iliotibial band. Now, this guy can be real sensitive, and it is in a lot of people. Once again, I'm using my foot and my hand for support at the beginning level. 
and I'm going from my knee right up to about my hip, uh, pretty much right from a side angle right down onto the foam roll. You'll find a lot of trigger points throughout this guy, especially as you get towards the knee and especially as you get towards the hip. Usually those areas tend to be a little more sensitive, but when people are starting off, they may have sensitivity all the way through the, uh, the band of tissue there. Great. Next one, we're gonna come up a little bit more to what's called the tensor fascia lata. It is the muscle at the front of the hip here that controls that. So what is it? Just gonna roll forward a bit, about that same 45 degrees that I had you roll back for the piriformis. We're gonna roll forward, and you're not gonna to have to go too far. Uh, the muscle's only about this long on your average size person, so you're just gonna roll in that distance and really work the trigger points out of that. This one's big in runners and uh, different athletes uh, see a lot of this. Uh, another sensitive one there too. Uh, next one we're gonna roll on to is the quadricep muscles. And same type of deal, you start off using your legs and arms for support, and then you can even cross over and really get in there and work any tender spots out there like so. And yep, next one we're going to do is the adductor, so that would be the inner part of the thigh. Um, and so, uh, like Dr. Molsky just pointed to the inner part of the thigh, and it's uh, the same type of motion, just rolling up and down on what you would see here. On this leg, I was working the inside of the thigh and just roll towards the foam roll more if you want to get over that group of muscles. You just have to be on the edge of the foam roll to do that, so that way you can get on the inner part there. So, towards the edge, right towards the inside, and roll back and forth getting that muscle group. That's great. So those are the lower extremity foam roll exercises. Uh, these guys, uh, like I said, can be very sensitive, but you can utilize them at home. Uh, we definitely uh, ask you to come in so that way we can make sure of ones that you can do. Uh, and again, uh, utilize the website uh, for all the great information. Uh, talk to you next time.